I found a player prop that offers some tremendous value in this week's Monday Night Football game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons. We'll break it down for you, and I'll also give you guys my leans on the side in total. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know in the comments section who do you have for Week 2 in Monday Night Football. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So Week 1 went great for us. In the NFL, we went 3-1 and one for plus 4 units on our client plays. We went 5-0 and oh for our NFL videos including a cash ticket on Monday Night Football with Brock Purdy's under on pass attempts. It was a close one towards the end, but we got the job done and looked to keep that train rolling this week. Atlanta at Philadelphia, Monday Night Football, normal kickoff time, 8.15 p.m. Eastern from the link. Eagles currently 6.5 point home favorites. Total sits at an even 47. Philadelphia coming off that Week 1 victory. 34-29 in Brazil over the Green Bay Packers. However, week one was not as kind to the Atlanta Falcons. They go down 18-10 in a defensive battle at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Cousins and company, they really struggled offensively in this game against the Steelers. I expect him to have a little bit more success this week. However, he is traveling to Philadelphia where he's 3-4 and four in his career. And we are also dealing with primetime cousins. 12 and 20 career record in primetime games. He's been a bit better recently. However, we still have we know about his struggles in primetime games. So that'll be something to look out for. On the other thing side of things, this Eagles offense is stacked. The addition of Saquon Barkley scoring three touchdowns. Obviously the tush push with Jalen Hurts. It's still a formidable offensive line even without Kelsey and he has the weapons with AJ Brown and uh, Devonta Smith this Eagles secondary is solid but it's not unbeatable but they were absolutely gashed in the running game by the Packers 21 carries for 163 yards as a team that's 7.8 yards per carry and with that we're going to focus in on the Falcons running back Bijan Robinson and look at his over 62 and a half rushing yards. I was really surprised that we got the number this low. He had 68 in week one despite a tough defensive matchup, and that puts him over in three of his last four games, five of his last nine, going back to 2023. The key to this play is here is though he played a career high 91% of the snaps in this game. He had the lion's share of the carries, obviously. Tyler Algier only had uh, three carries. Robinson had 18. I expect them to lean on him heavily here. The Falcons to lean on him heavily. Take some of that pressure off uh, Cousins here. So our official play for the video is going to be over 62 and a half rushing yards for Bijan Robinson. I do lean towards the Eagles covering this spread. I you know they're, I feel like they're going to win this game at home. And like I said, I really just I think this Eagles team is built for overs this season. So I also lean towards the over, but we're going to make our official play Robinson over 62 and a half rushing yards. Guys, I have a great promo code that you can use right now over at sportsmemo.com. Use the code Steve25, S-T-E-V-E-2-5. Gets you guys 25% off anything on my page daily, weekly, monthly, you name it. It's all available over there. I would suggest a 30-day all access pass it brings it down to under six dollars per day we're number one in the mlb since mid-june and like i said we're coming off a three and one week one in the nfl so i'd encourage you guys to check that out there's always a link to my sports memo page in the pin comment i always have free plays posted over at x and as well as at sportsmemo.com uh, twitter is at steve's book 22 Good luck this week, and if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the way out. See you next time.